Hello there, Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore here. In this tip, I want to show you how we can create a cleaner view of our score, uh, not so much for use while editing the score, but for use maybe proofreading it, reading from it, presenting it to others like I often do in my music demonstrations. So I want to show you how we can do that. I'm going to show you a couple different ways, the simple way and then the way that's actually probably more effective. So the simple way to get a cleaner view is just to switch from the score tab here on the main toolbar to the publish tab. When I do that, instantly it's somewhat cleaner, right? The left sidebars have disappeared and the node input toolbar has disappeared. So it is somewhat less cluttered. But I think we can do better. There's a few things still going on. We still have this uh, row of uh, buttons here that I don't actually need for this purpose. And we have the status bar here that I don't really need. And when we're in publish mode, uh, a lot of the editing commands, most of the editing commands are locked out. So if I did want to do any minor editing here, I won't be able to. So I'm not going to do this. What I want to do instead is uh, I'm going to create my own special uh, presentation mode. So I'm going to go back to the score tab here and now let me show you how we're going to create this mode. We're going to use the workspace controls in MuseScore. So down here on the status bar you'll see the workspace currently is default and when I click this I've already created a couple other workspaces. I'm going to create a new one now by clicking create new workspace. And now I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it presentation because that's what I normally use this for. You might want to call it proofread mode. You might want to call it clean mode, whatever you want. And you can just leave all of these check boxes checked. Uh, in my course, we'll talk about other things that they might do, but um, we can just leave those alone. And then I want to make sure I am switching into this new presentation workspace that I've created. Now, I've created this workspace but it's not really any different than the default workspace right now. It just has all the default elements. But now I can start removing them one by one. So you can get rid of the sidebar panels using their dot 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 menus here. If I click the dot 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 next to palettes, I can click close to close it. There's also the keyboard shortcut F9 that opens and closes palettes. I can now also use F7 to close the instruments panel and F8 to close the properties panel. So already a lot better, right? There's a few other things I want to do. Um, one thing that I want to do next is get rid of that note input toolbar. So I'm going to come to the view menu and then under toolbars I'm going to uncheck note input. And now the note input toolbar has disappeared. Great. I still kind of want to get rid of the status bar, but before I do that, I want to make sure that I'm not um, I'm not locking myself out of some of the things that this can do because they might be useful to you. Like for instance, I might want to actually get back to my workspace controls. I might want to toggle concert pitch, might want to change between page and continuous view, might want to have access to some of these zoom commands. So I want to make sure there's keyboard shortcuts defined for anything that I need. Zooming in and out already have shortcuts, control minus, control equals or plus to zoom in depending on your keyboard. So that much is covered, but I want to make sure that I can also um, do a couple other things. I want to get to the workspace controls. Actually, I can get to the workspace controls with view workspaces and you'll see you can switch workspaces there. But it's still nice to be able to do it with keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to now go to edit preferences, shortcuts, and I'm going to just make sure that there is a uh, shortcut defined for configuring workspace. That is what brings up that dialog. And I've already done that. So I already clicked here. I already clicked define and defined a shortcut control alt shift w for workspace, right? Um, I might want to do the same for concert pitch. So I can type concert pitch into here, select it, and define a shortcut. And I've done that already. Control Alt Shift C. 
There's another useful control here. Well, the controls to switch into uh, continuous and page view. So if I search for page, you want to make sure that you've defined a shortcut for display page view. The same for continuous view. There's one you might not know about, and that is uh, zoom to page width. If I uh, type zoom into this thing, you'll see there's a command zoom to page width. And I have defined that shortcut to be control backslash. I love this command uh, when I'm in the uh, presentation mode here because if I press that right now, control backslash, it expands the score to fill up all the available space, which is great. And then also if I make the window smaller, it'll automatically shrink the score to fit the window. It's a really cool sizing thing where it just sort of automatically sizes to the window. So now that I've made sure that I can get at all the commands that I actually need to get at, I can finally get rid of the status bar by going to View, Toolbars, and turn off Status Bar. So this is my presentation workspace. It's not ideal. I, I really wish I could get rid of the main toolbar as well. That's just not currently possible. Uh, you may have noticed in the view menu it is possible to get rid of the playback controls, but that's not going to save you any space. And these might be things you want while you're in this mode, so I just decided to leave them in there. But anyhow, this is how you can go about creating a nice cleaner looking interface. You don't want to do any heavy editing in here because you've now closed all the panels that you might need for it. But you can still do some things in here and you can just view your score with less distraction than the default workspace would normally have. So that's how I use workspaces to create myself a presentation mode.